Welcome everyone to another episode of the Stevenage Road to Glory, my last FIFA 22 series. Maybe unfortunate, but today also might be the last video, the last episode, because this team is primed and ready for a Champions League run. Obviously, don't have the best of players, but we've got dynamic potential. They're young, they can improve. And with Stewart and OC men up top, I feel like we can score eight goals in any game we want. We're starting off by loaning out Zuzhevin for one year. He'll be heading to Spurs. And joining the team will be Declan Rice from Real Sociedad. $108.6 million for the English defensive midfielder. Plug-and-play player. He's going to instantly make this team better. Adam Walsh has been sold to Brentford for $30.2 million. Luis Mia has been sold to Manchester United for $24 million. Just brought in Rice to replace him. Really didn't like having to get rid of him, but $24 million, you have to do that. Alan Moss is going on a one-year loan move to Inter Milan. Nemeth, one-year loan move to NEC. Transfer window is pretty good for us. But what really matters is the Champions League. We are in Group G with Barcelona, Benfica, Galatasaray. Not too stacked, but Barcelona obviously will give us a tough time. Youth Academy heading to Norway, heading to Sweden, and finally Denmark. Medina will be going on a two-year low move to Piemonte Calcio. And now it is time to travel to the Camp Nou to face off against Barcelona. In our first Champions League game, this is the lineup. We're playing a 3-5-2. Belton is in goal. Martin Hernandez, Stankovic, center backs. Mikavoy, Rice are the defensive mids. Longo, Middleton, the wings. Saez attacking mid. And Stewart and Prince start up top. Here are the highlights. The time just challenged magnificently. Prince. It's a good looking ball in behind. He's managed to get in behind. And it can Longo. There will be one minute added on at the end. Happy to take on the shots. Contest commences. Stewart. An incisive pass. Certainly improved their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Traore. And that pass could be troublesome. And they could do damage. Lassina Traore. Oyar Sabal. Excellent ball over the top. Grimaldo. He cuts it back. Oh, they've done it! Well, they have the ball once more. It looks promising. De Jong. This could be it. Still possibilities. And it goes. So we did lose the game 4-2. to two. Not exactly the way you want to start it. But it is kind of a reality check. They are still Barcelona. They're still one of the best clubs in the world. We do still have a long ways to go. We ended up tying Benfica 2-2 two two in the next game. Reggie Plant is going on a short little move to Paris FC. We beat Galatasaray 2-0, and then beat him again 4-0. Kaspar is going on a short low move to Gazmatan, and we beat Barcelona in the sim match 2-1, which I wasn't planning on playing because I was just assuming we are going to lose before ultimately playing our final game against SL Benfica. Very simple for us, win and we go through. Draw, and I believe we need results pending elsewhere. And I think if we lose, we need to lose by one. So basically, let's just win and not have to worry about it. But the team has changed. We have, I've now switched us to a 4-4-2. So we have Dalton in goal. Martin Hernandez are the center back. Stankovic is a defensive only left back. Mikavoy is a very offensively minded right back. We have Saez and Rice as our center mids. Rice is much more defensive. Saez is much more attackive. Balance each other out well. Middleton, Longo on the wings. And Stewart and OC men up top. Trying to switch things up. Hopefully it works. Here are the highlights.
promising attack this will it happen for them and a goal That's terrific piece of anticipation now potential danger in position and this time it's in Did well to win the ball back. It is a decent looking attack here. And it goes! The chances in the Barcelona game. What's happened, Alex Scott? Yeah, it's a goal for Barcelona. It's now 1 0 with 37 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Oh, a lovely ball. A goal! And given away. And the pass could do damage. Oh, yes! It's gone in! Can he deliver it with accuracy? It's still dangerous. Well, threat over for now. can keep possession now oh nice ball over the top to chase and he's only gone and made it up mattered most not a good pass could be dangerous it looks promising So a 6-2 victory, hat-trick from Stewart, 2 from Ossiman, goal from Longo. think this might kind of be what we use in the future. Halfway through the Premier League, we're currently sitting in second place, just four points off of Man United. Finished top of the group in the Champions League, and have been drawn against RB Leipzig in the round of 16. We also won manager of the month for the month of December in the Prem. Juhaz has been sold to West Ham for $5.1 million. Leverkusen. Loan is over for Ryan Hennessy. Expect him to come back into the rotation. Jose Wolf will be going on a short loan move to Spurs. And joining the team from Arsenal is Kieran Tierney. Scottish left back, for just under 50 million. We've had the money to spend, need a very solid proven left back, world class left back to take us over that next hump, and he might just be it. So, transfer window is pretty simple for us. Champions League, we drew 1-1, one to one. so of course we got to play the second leg. We are hosting, and the starting lineup looks like this. Tierney now starts at left-back position in place of Stankovic or Hennessy. I feel really good about our chances in this game. Here are the highlights. Rice with it. A really sumptuous ball. it again getting forward Middleton the delivery what a lovely strike Nkunku good visualization and execution and it goes well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Stevenage facing Arsenal. And he's in. And a goal here! There. And he read it well. And threading it forward. And he's made it a brace for himself. On with that tackle. Victor Ozimhen. Great opportunity. In it goes. So a 
Rice is looking threatening. Rice. Is it going to be? Oh, burying the beneath her. Nkunku. Able to get a body in the way. Can they hit on the break? A real opening now. And he scored that once. The interception there. Oh, what an opportunity. Can he convert? Oh, tremendous goal! How can they create something? And he might be in here. is going to add on three minutes. This attack looks highly promising. Chances on. A goal! He's dispatched it! 10 to 1. I think we did pretty good. Uh, Jackson Fletcher's joining the team from the Youth Academy. Just kind of basic center mid. Eck is joining. He's got a cool name. That's the only reason why. Sam Peter, Youth Academy left back eventually. Tengen, eventual right back. Kirby, eventual center mid. Eliasson, right back. Thicklund, eventually left mid. So yeah, 11-2 in aggregate. We played pretty well. Now we've been drawn against Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. First leg, 3-0 loss. Things are looking doom and gloom, but last game we won 10-1. So if we can replace that, maybe we have a chance. But we are at the Bernabeu. Same lineup as always. Hopefully we can get a good result. Here are the highlights. Yes. Here's Tielemans. And they need to get tighter. Nunez. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Can they put it away? And a goal! Tielemans. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's made headway. And a goal! That's his... Vinicius Jr. Oh, bruising past him. Vinicius! And a goal! And running in behind. Size. Promising sequence. Now will the cross work out for them? Well, they failed to get it away properly. Oh, that is a majestic possession lost. And it might be. Can they hit on the break? And a good looking ball. Oh, yes! It's gone! Now, Ada Militao. Nunez. And he's made headway. He got a good palm on it. A goal! How about so a 5-3 loss does unfortunately mean that our Champions League campaign is over. We lose 8-3 on aggregate, but we're not stopping. Champions League, okay, that's over, that's done. We're moving on. Manchester City in the semifinals of the FA Cup. Lineup, we're playing a 4-3-3 defend. Back line is the same except Kendall makes a start at right back because McAvoy is moved to defensive mid along with Rice. Sai is attacking mid, Osimhen up top, Longo Stewart in the wings. Maybe this will work. Who knows? Here are the highlights. Size on the ball. Promising sequence. 
making sure it didn't get past him. And a goal! The opener! Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And a chance to level it. And it's a goal here from Van Problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. An incisive pass. A goal! It will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Giving it a try. Making sure it didn't get past him. And foul it is then. Chance to equalise here. In it goes! And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Stevenage facing Brentford. Oh, Big chance here. And a goal! Gabriel Jesus. Foden. Now a decent position. Here's Bernardo Silva. Foden. In it goes! It just gets... It was an errant pass by Gabriel Jesus. And continues his run. Now this could really lift spirits. In it goes! Two minutes. What do they have it in them to level this? Gabriel Jesus and an astute piece of defending breaking at pace he's managed to lose his marker must score and a goal an incisive pass and it's still on timely interception can they hit on the break chances on there's the goal Shoot. is this the moment oh yes a goal it's so we ended up winning that game 7 to 5 they had to go all the way into extra time they played much better but with, our, with the counter-attacking style we used, we got our goal, so that's all that matters. Ficklund will be going on a tier low move to Zolt Wargem. And here's something that I don't think anyone would ever predict would ever happen in the real world, because at the end of the day, this is FIFA, and as an Everton fan, I can confirm you will never see Everton in an FA Cup final, nor Stevenage. But Everton had a very easy road to get here. Born with Middlesbrough, then Leicester. I mean, we did also, we had Liverpool, tough, Norwich, easy, but Man City, tough. But yeah, now we're playing a 4-4-1-1. Back line is Stankovic, Martin, center backs, McAvoy, Tierney on the wings, Dalton, of course, in goal, Rice, Saez, center mids, Milton, Longo on the wings, Stewart, center forward, Ossiman, striker. Maybe this will work even better. Here are the highlights. Playing it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Shot attempted, and they will be awarded a free kick for that. Can he make it 1-0? And the penalty is... Well, it didn't happen for them in attack.
possibilities inside the box. It has to be. This might be ideal for the counter. Is it going to be? And it goes! Keep the ball. Size. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Oh, surely. And a goal here! ATV. It's Stevenage facing Crystal Palace. Well, they've given him too much space. Leon Bailey gives it a go. And in. Alert defending. Can he put it in? And he's only got. And dispossessed. And that pass could be troublesome. A goal! We're really big. So a 6-1 victory obviously means that we win the FA Cup. Pretty convincingly as well. Things are really heating up for us. Eliasson's going on alone. Lucas Hernandez has been sold to Southampton for $26.5 million. Brought him in last year. He was good for us, but don't need him anymore. And with one game, well, Manchester United are a game behind us and two points behind us. We have two games to go in the Premier League. And it's very simple. We win this game, we win the league. We're hosting Crystal Palace. We are at home under the lights. Cannot write a better script for this. Lineup is the same as it was for the last game. Here are the highlights. Now can they make something happen? A chance to whip it in. Takes the shot. Oh, it's in! They look as though they want to make this move count. It might be. And there it is, a goal! Outrageously skillful. And giving the ball away. Size. Stewart has it. Oh, good vision. A master of keeping his composure. There it is! Makes his way in field. Gives it a go. And foiled by the post. Cleared away. Well, they won't come much. And he's made it a brace for himself. Getting in there to take it away. It should be! Oh, there it is! It's... Closing down well. Sends it back. Denied again. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And still an opportunity. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. to win it back he's in behind and that's the hat trick timely intervention and we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV it's Stevenage oh what a chance this is Derek He's given us away. 
A chance maybe from the wide position. They have all the cross work out for them. Oh, that is a Manchester! Stewart. piece of quick thinking by the keeper well that's great goalkeeping he read it so well didn't he can they convert and a goal it is the keeper ready so 11 to 0 i think i think we may have won the game premier league champions after a 11 one one to zero thumping. Not surprised we won Manager of the Month for May. Lordson's joined the team from the Youth Academy. Hansen's joined the team. Jacobson's joined the team. Thorson's joined the team. Ollie's joined the team. Hansen's joined the team. Delgado is leaving the team though to join Hoffenheim. It was a loan to buy and they ended up buying him. He was really good for us when he was playing, but just off the bench didn't provide enough, so decided to send him out on loan like that. Yeah, we won the Premier League with ease, essentially. Stewart, top goal scorer with 21 goals. Longo tied for most assists with 13. Dalton tied with most clean sheets with 9. FA Cup obviously beat Everton in the final. Quarterfinals got knocked out by Brighton in the Carabao Cup. And quarterfinals of the Champions League knocked out by Real Madrid. Stewart leading goal scorer with 40. Also in 28. Longo 26. Longo had most assists with 18. Milton, Stewart, and Ossiman both had 12. McAvoy, 11. Rice, 10. And Saez, 9. Evans is the only player leaving the club with contract expiring. We won another league title. We won a domestic cup. But we've st still yet to win the Champions League. And with this team, I really think that we can do so now. Which means that the next episode is going to probably be my last ever FIFA 22 video. I just don't see a way that we don't either win the Champions League or I just get so upset and frustrated I just give up. But I do feel like we're going to win the Champions League with a couple more big time signings. I think this team is going to be unstoppable. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you enjoyed. And it is JTB signing off.